Okay, I've stopped for gas because they don't have any more services for 60 miles. I'm at the, I guess I'm pronouncing it right, Chirico Summit. And got at least another 60 miles to go before the next stop. Maybe I'm going to try to make another 80 if possible. It's going pretty good so far. The bike's running excellent. So off we go. Dynaglide actually balances just a bit better than my Triumph, but then that's kind of normal for Harleys. They tend to kind of balance themselves, whereas my Triumph's rather neutral. And I'll see if I can show you a little bit if it's marked of the summit, because we're like a mile away from it according to the signs. One thing I need to do is reset my trip odometer. There. There are some gorgeous mountains here. I don't know if you can see those in this lens, but I know the camera never picks them up as good as they really are. Sometimes a really good photographer can sit up and make some pictures to make the mountains look about as good as what they look in real life, but not always. been pretty hot so far just this last hour not unbearably hot but you can feel it's around 90 68 miles to Blythe so far I've heard back with everybody that's going to make it to the Phoenix meetup going to be Arizona Wacko, DJ Sipster, Wachuca Guy, and have Dog Will Scooter. So there should be at least four people meeting me there in Phoenix. Hopefully you can hear through all this wind and noise. So far I'm making good time and I'm hoping to be in Phoenix well ahead of my 5 o'clock scheduled arrival. Even a couple hours early would be nice, give me a chance to settle in, get my stuff put away and jump in the shower real quick. It's going to be kind of wet and sticky after all this uh, riding. Well, I'm guessing maybe that was it back there. I didn't see any signs or anything, but I guess that was it. Nothing any more exciting than the rest of the mountains. They're exciting enough. One thing I did notice out here in the southwest compared to the midwest is the markings for services are a lot harder to spot. And as a matter of fact, you've got long, long sections to where there really isn't much of anything marked. You just kind of have to look ahead. Let's see if you see a gas station sign 
stuck way up in the air and just guess at the exit to take. So be a little bit nicer if they marked that a little bit better. But nothing's been uh, bad enough to really concern me so far. I just look out at all these juniper bushes and it looks like not enough shade for a half-grown coon dog to hide in. It would not be a pleasant place to be broke down and have to stand around even for an hour or two. Not at this temperature. Even the taller bushes look kind of scrawny. They don't look like they provide much shade for you if you're waiting for help. I noticed a few places where they had turnoffs like this. They did mark no services specifically, I guess, so somebody wouldn't pull off thinking they could find gas or something to drink or a place to go to the washroom and just be lost. So it's going good so far. I guess I'll cut it right here in the next one I will be when I get either in Phoenix or closer to Phoenix.